Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about boxers versus briefs. Basically, what's best for improving fertility, for testosterone and sperm levels. Um, I will also reveal at near the end, a simple change you can do to quickly increase everything by 25% and another solution that'll actually speed up the results in just a few days while also improving your erections and sex drive. So let's get started with today's question. And it basically started off as, Dr. Sam, I have an important question about boxers versus briefs and which is better for testosterone levels, fertility, and sperm. I did research and I got mixed answers. And the thing is, I like wearing boxers and boxers briefs. And this, and is this any different or better than wearing regular boxers or briefs? So this is again, a great question since men are producing less than 50% of the testosterone and sperm levels they did just a few decades ago. Of course, you know, the type of underwear is not the only cause of this, but it can definitely be a contributing factor for sure. But first, let's clarify the types of underwear. Briefs, you know, this is what I mean, we call those tidy whities that you wore when you were younger. It's not very cool looking, but it gets the job done and it keeps the boys in a tight place. Boxers, this is what men wore for centuries. It's basically like shorts, a thin pair of shorts, under your pants. It's very loose fitting. It's fine when you're wearing, again, loose pants or trousers like they did in the old days, but if you're wearing tight jeans or you're going to the gym or you're working out, it's probably not ideal or the most comfortable. And then we have, you know, boxer briefs, and this is what I typically wear. And in all, in all honesty, it's just like a longer form of briefs. It is more stylish and you have a lot more options these days. It's somewhere in the middle of the two, but I guess, you know, I would say it's closer to briefs than it is boxers. So in regards to which is better for fertility, there have been clinical studies about this. I'm not going to waste your time with all the technicalities and the medical details. So let's get right to the bottom line. In a 17-year study that just was published in 2018, revealed that men who wore loose-fitting underwear had 25% higher sperm concentration, 17% higher total sperm count, and 33% higher total mortality count. That means they're swimming better, higher concentration and everything. And this is compared to men who wore those regular tight fitting briefs. There was also a higher bit of testosterone levels, but there wasn't enough clinical study backing that up. Okay, so what's the cause of this? Basically, you got to remember that the testicles are designed to hang outside the body, right? And that's to keep things, to keep them about two degrees cooler than the normal body temperature, which is about 98.6 Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, when you wear tight underwear that keeps your testicles close to the body, you are risking, you know, overheating your testicles and hindering healthy sperm production, among other things. Okay, so what's the best solution to all this? Ideally, you would wear loose fitting boxers as much as possible. Now, if you don't like how, you know, they, they feel underneath clothing or tight jeans or gym outfits or working out all that stuff, then go ahead and wear boxer briefs with a pouch to give your guys a little distance from the body while also keeping them secure in one place and not flopping around. And then when you're at home or you're lounging around, wear boxers or something similar that's loose fitting. And when you sleep, for sure, do not wear tight briefs. Just wear, again, uh, uh, boxers or just pajamas or go commando and just sleep naked, okay? Now, keep in mind that once you make these changes, it takes about 90 days on average to achieve a significant increase in sperm production and improvement in quality. You can, of course, speed up the whole process dramatically by taking specific herbs and vitamins and minerals such as those found in alpha viral, which is what I take. And I put a direct link below in the description area to Alpha Vero about more details about how we can help with sperm production, fertility, mobility, increased testosterone levels, improving erections, and balancing those youthful hormones. So scroll down, take a look right now while it's fresh on your mind. Also, leave your comments below. Let me know what questions you have about today's topic or similar topics and that you'd like me to discuss in future videos. As always, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Click that bell notification icon so it would be so you'll be alerted when future videos about this and similar topics are released. As always, take action and thanks for watching, thanks for listening and wishing you a very happy and healthy day.